we need to stop the CCG mergers, and this is why. For those of you who know or do not know, we're moving towards an American-style system of healthcare. We're looking at an integrated care system. At the moment, you might be familiar with sustainability and transformation boards in your area. Well, that STP, Sustainability and Transformation Board, is working its way towards becoming an integrated care system. Simon Stevens, the boss of NHS England, wants these integrated care systems quickly implanted in the NHS. These are controlling bodies that are made up of local NHS, local council, third sector, voluntary, and of course, make room for a few corporate friends. Now, these integrated care systems the one weakness they have is that they're non-statutory. They have no legal, lawful basis. Their collaborations, their partnerships, everyone's smiley and happy, damaging our NHS, because they're the ones who are implementing Simon Stevens' demands to cut, 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 restrict care, remove treatment into the private sector, and hey presto, job done. The one thing he knows is their weakness. They are not legally accountable. However, what would be really handy if you have one CCG, because you can't have too many CCGs because they'll all disagree with each other, you don't want that. What you need is one CCG, which is a legal statutory body. That CCG can then be responsible for the decisions of the integrated care system. I hope that's made sense.